Hey everyone, welcome to MsHollywood.com. It's July 7th, 2009. Today was Michael Jackson's memorial service and we have with us on the phone Mike Coolidge who was down at the service. So Mike, thanks for joining us. Tell me about how the feeling was down there. How long did you have to wait in line? Um, I got there around uh, 6 a.m. today. Um, it, was, uh, it was a very somber feeling. Everyone was, you know, very... Uh, you know, very polite, you know, there were not a lot of crazy fans. And once you got in there and you guys, I mean, you guys were all seated for a while and then they brought in the casket, were you shocked or did it change the atmosphere inside? Um, well, you know, it was, uh, it was, you know, there was a lot of rumors going around, like the crowd when we were standing outside waiting to get in. Um, you know, cause nothing was really announced that they were bringing the casket or not. Um, but, you know, when, when I got all the calls on my cell phone waiting outside, you know, they said, uh, you know, the casket was on the way. So it was, uh, anyway, it made it, you know, all the more special, you know, a lot more, uh, a lot more intense than, you know, knowing he was, you know, right there and, you know, in front of us. There were a lot of performances today. We had Mariah Carey, Jennifer Hudson, you know, the, the, some of them very moving, especially Usher. What moved you the most? Out of the... Performances, probably uh, the Charlie Chaplin song, sang by uh, Jermaine Jackson, uh, just because, you know, obviously, you know, he's his brother, and he's very hurting, and, uh, you know, he was really into the song, and you could see him kind of choke back his tears and smile at the end, uh, and that, that was really moving. We also see that uh, Michael Jackson's daughter got up on stage. How did you feel that? I mean, the crowd seemed overwhelmed, and everybody I've spoken to said they were so touched and moved by that moment. Yeah, it, it, was, it was very touching, very moving. Um, especially because you know his kids have never really been in the spotlight. They've always, you know, he's always kept it, you know, you know, the veils over them, and um, just to see them, you know, up on stage and you know her talking about her dad. Um, it, you know, it really, it really, uh, you know, brought, brought like a, you know, a face to them, which, you know, no one's ever really seen before. There were some very, you know, moving moments besides the performances. Some of the speeches were, you know, amazing. Um, the speeches were really moving, and, um, especially, uh, I think it was, uh, Brooke Shields, you know, she, uh, she, you know, really, really brought, you know, someone that we've always looked to as, you know, just an entertainer and a musician kind of down to, you know, a human level and, uh, you know, really, really put a face to him and, you know, he was, he, she really kind of showed us that he was just a regular person like everybody else. And, uh, Barry Gordy was also very moving um, and, and obviously Al Sharpton, you know, we were all on our feet for him. So it was, uh, it was a great experience. What is it that you will take from being there at this memorial service? You were very lucky to be able to get a ticket. So many millions of people, you know, were trying to get a ticket, and you were one of the lucky ones. So what will you take away from this experience? I, I think, yeah, you know, I was incredibly lucky. It was kind of like uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I found a ticket, um, but yeah, you know, I'll, I'll never forget this day. It was, uh, you know, one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll take that, you know, to the, you know. All right, Mike, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. We know that you've had a very long day sitting out there at Staples Center being out there, so I appreciate you joining us. No problem. My pleasure. Thank you, and thanks for joining us at MsHollywood.com. See you next time.